Hello everyone. In the previous session, I have discussed about high voltage testing. High voltage testing can be divided into two. First one is non-destructive insulation testing and the second one is conventional type of testing. In this session, I would like to explain what do we mean by non-destructive insulation testing and what are the different methods available. Let us have a brief discussion on this topic. Let's start discussing about non-destructive testing. It is a technique used to evaluate the properties of dielectric material, component or system without causing any damage. That's a peculiarity of non-destructive testing. You know, it is very difficult to test the quality of insulating material after it forms a part of equipment. Suitable test must be done to ensure in the set range of operation. That is 100% correct. Suppose, consider a high voltage transformer. If it is becoming as a part of high voltage system, it is very difficult to do the insulation test. One of the most important peculiarity of non-destructive testing is given here. Entities ensure that the material is not destroyed as in the case of conventional high voltage testing. If you consider conventional type of high voltage testing, obviously the material will be spoiled. Once you complete test one or, once or twice, then definitely the material will be spoiled. But in case of NDT, the material will not be spoiled. We will be considering only a test sample so that you can save the particular material. That's a speciality of NDT. We can make a suitable comparison between NDT and a conventional type of high voltage testing. Furthermore, NDT helps to estimate the electrical properties such as resistivity, dielectric constant, loss factor, loss angle, dielectric loss over a wide range of frequency. So that's a speciality of NDT. So I'll be explaining what do you mean by dielectric constant, loss factor, loss angle in the upcoming sessions. Now let's consider the applications of NDT. NDT is commonly used in, in the area of mechanical engineering, petroleum engineering, electrical engineering, civil engineering, aeronautical and medical field. NDT is widespread in various fields of engineering. So I have mentioned only a typical areas. Right now, let us discuss different methods of NDT in the field of high voltage engineering. As far as high voltage engineering concerned, there are two methods of NDTs are available. The first method is high voltage sharing splits and the second method is known as transformer ratio umbrage. I would like to discuss high voltage sharing bridge as well as transformer ratio umbrage in the upcoming sessions. So, for your information, these are the popular methods which are applicable in case of NDT in high voltage engineering. For further reading, you can refer the particular textbook and you will be getting more information on NDT. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found this channel useful, please do subscribe.